Well, as you're headed out the door this morning, it's going to be warm. It's going to be a little humid, and some of us are seeing some light showers right now. As we take a look, we're seeing out towards 55 along that and headed east. We're seeing some light showers in our Feliciana parishes. Starting to see a little bit of some light showers as well. But the thing is, is the temperatures out there right now, 63 here in Baton Rouge, 65 down towards Gonzales and Homa also at 65. Those upper 50s along 55, 59 for them, but temperatures are going to keep getting warmer as we go into the rest of our day. We're going to be hitting those 70s pretty early by 10 o'clock, hitting 70s. We're going to have pretty much a lot of cloud cover going into the rest of this day. We're going to have 75 for our high temperature today, 75 and 76 for us here, we're seeing a little cooler towards our Mississippi counties, but overall is well above average. We're going to be seeing some light showers stay with us and cloud cover as well. The rain really does kick in, though, as we go into, of course, your Friday. We're going to be seeing that front that's going to be coming through, bringing us a push of some strong storms that are going to be coming through and cools us back down to 72. So one more warm day of 76. Low 60s again for tonight into tomorrow morning with a little bit of some fog, but those showers are starting pretty early in our day. So taking a look right now, we're going to get a break from cloud cover going in around 6. They build back in as we go into the morning. Around 8 o'clock, we're seeing a lot of heavy rainfall for most of our state to start us out. That's going to be coming into our area into the rest of the early afternoon. Around 1 o'clock, we're still seeing heavy rainfall. You're going to see some strong winds. The big threat with this front is, of course, flooding, as we see a lot of rainfall is going to be expected with this. It takes its time to clear out as well because we go into Friday evening. We still see some of those light showers kind of sticking with us as we go into our Saturday morning. A little less, though, for Saturday at 6 o'clock. Plenty of cloud cover. That'll start to clear out, and I know we're expecting, of course, for Saturday, the New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, what you can expect with that. Well, you'll see some very early isolated showers. It'll clear out, cool down into the low 60s. And then starting the new year, of course, we're hitting 76 with plenty of sunshine. It is going to be a warm start to the year. We keep it like that for a little bit longer because we're having all this warm air coming into our area. But by Monday and into Tuesday, we see our next rain chances rolling through. Let's take a look at Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the morning. We're seeing some areas of some heavy rainfall. Some strong storms are expected because we're hitting those 70s. And we see it stays sitting over us for a little bit longer Tuesday night as well. But by Wednesday, we're starting to clear it out, starting to cool down and get back to our average temperatures of low 60s. So if you like the warm temperatures, we're ending the year like that. We're also going to start the year like that. But we have the first cold front to get through first. That's on Friday early in the morning. A good amount of rainfall is expected with that. So watch out for some of that flooding as you're headed out the door for your Friday morning. For the weekend, not too bad. It is going to be on the warmer side before we see our next cold front that's coming through Monday into Tuesday. And then we get back to a little more normal this time of year with those 60s coming back for our January.